thinking rational is not only a critical tenet of Stoicism, but is also a critical tenet for living a quality and fulfilling life. Many people in this world get lost in the mind of emotions and clouded judgment. In this video, we will unveil the secret on how to think rationally in life and think clearly without the interference of emotion. Make sure you stay till the very end where we have a surprise waiting. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for more life-changing content. Now we present to you seven stoic lessons to develop a rational mind. The first lesson today is be decisive but flexible. Indecision and flip-flopping both reflect a scattered mind. Stoicism teaches the Goldilocks balance of being decisive yet flexible with opinions. When making a decision, thoroughly investigate options using logic and data. But avoid analysis, paralysis, or postponing choices interminably. Synthesize insights decisively at some point and act. Once a thoughtful decision is made, have conviction and follow through resolutely. But hold preferences lightly, not clinging to ego around your choice. Changing circumstances may reveal it as mistaken. Remain ever open to revising your beliefs if new evidence warrants. The goal is truth, not being right. Regularly question your assumptions to check their validity. Being set in your ways leads to rigidity and stagnation. But changing direction arbitrarily just casts you adrift with no anchor. Balance firm resolve with fluid agility. With practice, you can swiftly make discerning choices while remaining rationally responsive to new data. Conviction paired with flexibility creates a trustworthy compass to guide a way forward. Decisiveness gives clear direction. Openness enables course correcting. Blend the two seamlessly to craft rational ethical decisions able to withstand changing winds. The second lesson today is be humble and modest. It's natural to want respect and recognition for your achievements, but actively seeking fame and praise is irrational according to Stoicism. These feed ego and lead to greed. Cultivate humility by realizing you didn't solely create your talents and opportunities. Luck, help from others, and the wider society enabled your accomplishments too. Express gratitude. Don't boast about achievements since they often contain unseen components of fortune not due to your superiority. Take more pride in virtues requiring only you, integrity, compassion, temperance. Rather than chasing flashy acts to impress others, focus inward on perfecting your craft. Pursue excellence for its own sake. Avoid corruption of doing good just for attention. Speaking with excessive pride implicitly diminishes others' worthiness but modesty, paired with self-belief, inspires. Confidence without arrogance attracts trust and elevates everyone. Fame's pleasures are fleeting anyway. Chasing outward validation leads to discontent when attention inevitably fades. Find fulfillment through inward growth, not fickle public praise. Act nobly because it is right not to garner credit. Let a claim come unsought as natural result. Ambition for status confuses the means of doing good as the ends. Stay centered in rational purpose. The third lesson today is, be adaptable to change. The only constant in life is change. Clinging to the present and resisting this truth leads to suffering. Cultivating adaptability creates a rational, resilient mindset. Remember that change is inevitable. Youth passes, careers evolve, relationships shift, plans go awry. Don't mistakenly expect permanence in any aspect of life. See change as the default. Regularly reflect on the reality that everything could change at any moment. Imagine various scenarios, sickness, accidents, separations. Consider your desired responses. This mental preparation lessens reactivity when changes actually occur, avoid knee-jerk resistance. Pause, breathe, get space to process rationally. Ask what opportunities this transition contains, rather than only mourning loss. Adjust wisely, 
Change often brings valuable growth in unexpected ways. A new job after layoff leads to better work-life balance. An ended relationship opens the door for meeting your future spouse. Have faith in change's hidden gifts. Of course, allow yourself to feel and mourn losses during transitions too, but don't get permanently mired in anguish. Shift focus back to the present eventually. Flow forward flexibly. Adapting to life's twists and turns requires presence, perspective and resilience. But the ability to quickly adjust to changing conditions creates freedom and expands possibilities greatly. Expect change and change expectantly. The fourth lesson today is learn to consider different perspectives. It's easy to view issues only through our existing biases and assumptions, but making rational conclusions requires first surveying differing perspectives. When evaluating any issue, take time to study viewpoints that challenge your initial reaction. Understand arguments counter to yours, even if you ultimately disagree with them. Ask people with opposing views to explain their reasoning respectfully. Research groups with different backgrounds and concerns around the issue entertain perspectives far outside your experience. Consider how the same situation would look to people in different roles. Parents versus children, employers versus employees, veterans versus civilians. Imagine walking in their shoes before judging. Looking at issues from only one angle limits knowledge, but examining many perspectives provides a fuller picture before concluding. This expands your mind's flexibility and discernment. Of course, listening to other views that seem misguided can be frustrating. Remain patient and focused on broadening your own understanding, not just winning debates. Regularly stepping outside your worldview stretches self-awareness and dissolved blind spots. You become less tethered to any one perspective. This mental agility helps discover nuanced, ethical solutions amidst life's complexities. The fifth lesson today is avoid confirmation bias. It feels satisfying when data supports our existing opinions, but only seeking out confirmatory evidence while avoiding contradictory information leads to narrow-mindedness. Actively look for information that challenges your assumptions and beliefs, especially on issues central to your worldview. Be suspicious if sources only tell you what you want to hear. When researching, Make sure to read critiques from intelligent opponents, not just advocates on your side. Ask, could any evidence change my mind, or am I being defensive? Remain open to revising your conclusions, no matter how confident you feel initially. Truth-seeking, not confirming pre-existing biases, should be the goal. Admit when data disproves your beliefs. Of course, evaluate contradictory information rationally. Don't accept claims without scrutiny but fairly consider new evidence that runs counter to your narrative. Seeking only confirmatory information creates an echo chamber that distorts perception and rationality. Truth emerges through synthesizing many perspectives, supporting and opposing. Actively engaging with views against your own sharpens thinking and reveals blind spots. This humility keeps your mind supple rather than rigid. The rational mind remains open to truths that disturb its assumptions. The sixth lesson today is questioning your assumptions. It's easy to inherit assumptions from our upbringing and culture rather than carefully examining them. But rationally questioning unproven beliefs is essential. Make it a habit to pause and critically reflect when you notice yourself thinking everybody just knows that or it's obvious that. Consider what objective evidence truly supports those claims. Before repeating or acting on an assumption, ask questions like, where did I learn this belief? Could it be untrue or distorted? What observable facts demonstrate this versus just stories? What stake do I have in believing this that might cloud my judgment? Historical examples abound of obvious truths, later proven incorrect, that the earth was flat, smoking is safe, and many more. Truth takes deep investigation, not surface-level acceptance of conventions. Of course, you can't rigorously analyze everything from first principles, but regularly questioning key beliefs and background cultural assumptions leads to growth. 
assumptions often persist simply due to widespread familiarity or comfort, not accuracy. But the courage to challenge your own mind frees you from past errors. Stay relentlessly curious and humble in your pursuit of truth. The final lesson today and arguable the most important lesson of the video is practice critical thinking daily. Thinking critically shouldn't be reserved just for major decisions. Practicing rational analysis of everyday conversations creates an agile, reasonable mind. Make a habit of asking clarifying questions in discussions before agreeing or disagreeing. What exactly does that mean? What evidence supports that claim? How does this relate to your earlier point? This helps build understanding. Notice when harmful logical fallacies arise in conversations. Point them out politely. That seems like an overgeneralization. I know of some counterexamples. Or, just because the two correlate doesn't mean one necessarily causes the other. Think carefully even about casual remarks to check if you actually know them to be accurate. Don't repeat questionable claims without verification. Ask, could this be a misleading rumor I should avoid spreading? When friends or family vent emotions, apply compassion along with rationality. Kindly point out if they seem to be overreacting without invalidating their feelings. Making critical thinking a normal part of daily interactions helps ingrain rationality into your persona. It improves conversations by cutting through rhetoric to underlying truth. And exercising reason day to day develops the habit for use in bigger decisions. Soon rational analysis becomes second nature. From office chatter to holidays with relatives, you naturally apply wisdom, accuracy and logic to the flow of life. Minds meet minds. The reasonable life is a thoughtful life. Thank you for watching. And as promised, if you comment below the Stoic journey, I will respond with a personal Stoic message. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of more life-changing Stoic content. If you are new here, welcome to the Stoic journey.